Good morning. So it is quarter past seven and I didn't realise that Hollywood Studios opened at seven this morning for extra magic hours so fluffed that one up didn't I? I'm heading over there now um, in the hope that things aren't too bad and yeah I suppose we'll just go from there see how the uh, day goes. Um, I could do with a nap, not gonna lie. I am feeling very tired. So I might come back a little earlier this afternoon and then chill out. We'll just see how the day goes. We'll just go with the flow. But this morning, we are off to Hollywood Studios. <laughs> That was pretty painless to get in. <laughs> what I am doing first is making a beeline for Toy Story. Um, I've managed to just get in ahead of the main crowd, so it's uh, Toy Story Mania is posting a 50 minute wait, but hopefully with extra magic powers it might keep it just sort of down a bit. So it'd be, it won't be sort of fast passes coming in, so it should mean it might move a little quicker. If not, I'm going to do Alien Swirling Saucers, which is only a 10 minute wait, because that will pick up later. Um, and yeah, I don't really know what to expect from the day, but I'm home. This is a place that I really love, as Hollywood Studios, so I'm really happy to be back here. I love it here, absolutely love it here. Um, whether or not I do a full day is another matter, see how I feel. But we're just kind of just sort of, as I say, we're just sort of going with the flow. See if I can get on, get on what I can get on, I don't know yet. I got a fast pass at nine o'clock for um, Rock and Roller Coaster, I couldn't get one for Slinky Dog. So yeah, I think I'll go here into Toy Story Land and then Tower of Terror is a 13 minute wait so I might head over to there and then I'm that way for my fast pass then at um, 9 o'clock so just go with the flow really <laughs> This is incredible in here. I love it. Not your favorite. You really are shrunk down to the size of a toy with all the games and that that are about. Do you think I'm kidding? Do you think this whole thing made it for nothing? Hold up! You gotta say it to Lily! Swirling Sources is and see how long that one is and then I've got my fast pass in a minute over at, um, over at Rock and Roller Coaster anyway so my plan in that case might be to go over there and do those over there and then come back here maybe later on and see if anything has dropped at all. Um, I noticed yesterday that later in the day, um, the later in the day it got, the slinky dog had dropped, so I might do that. Currently a 45 minute wait. Nah, I'll come back later. And that, so here's Toy Story here. Got Toy Story Land here, and then that there is the end of the queue for Star Wars. So that's 
pretty insane, so I'm quite happy that Star Wars has a single rider because I will be utilizing that down to the max. So, yeah, I will head into there later on and go from there. But I'm gonna head over now to Rock and Roller Coaster and go over there. A little detour on the way to my fast pass. I met Chewie as that was a challenge set by my dad. So, Dad, those pictures are for you. I will put a camera noise in now. And now I'm just heading over to do my fast pass finally. And then my plan, I have no plan, let's face it. I keep talking about this plan. It's out the window, it's gone. Just rocking with it. So Hollywood Tower of Terror was posting an 80 minute wait. Although since I've been in meeting Chewbacca, it's actually gone down to 50, so not too bad, not too bad. We'll have a look and see when we get down there as to whether that is still the case. But yeah, let's go and ride Rock and Roller Coaster and absolutely cack my pants. Wow, alright. Hey, don't mind us, we'll be finished in just a minute. Yeah. Hey, what? hey, what's up? Hey, 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 By wait times, it is uber crowded here today. It's either that or like no one's anywhere else. I mean, all the wait times are pretty much above an hour. So, we shall see. I don't know. I'm not queue. I don't queue for anything that's really long. I mean, apart from Pandora yesterday, that was one exception. But, I might. Bail early. So I've got Star Wars Fast Pass and I've got Frozen. Um, and then I'm going to go over to um, ride Millennium Falcon as well, um, as that is single rider. So I should get through onto that no problem. So I'm going to give it a go. And I suppose we'll just go from there really and just sort of see what to do. We are now going to head into Star Wars. So this is what used to be the old um, Streets of America, which I remember very well. And to be honest, I kind of miss it. I mean, it's nice that they've kept some of them here. But you do miss the whole Streets of America. That was pretty cool. But we are now going to head to Galaxy's Edge. Okay, this looks pretty incredible. I mean, you can hear, if you hear, these make like transmitting noises. So that is where Rise of the Resistance will be in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna go and walk through this bit over here. like you're 
were on the set of a Star Wars film. It's incredible. This is honestly incredible. I mean, like, what the actual fudge? It's ridiculous, I know. It truly is. Like, it's it's incredible in there. I mean, everywhere you look. There's something different to see. No, maybe not. And then you walk out here. And there is the Millennium Falcon. I mean, come on. If you look just down underneath that, there's Chewy. I'm right. Currently fixing the Falcon. Are you getting a good shot? I think so. <laughs> Just, wow. Just, yeah. 
I'm giving it a go.